Hello everyone, it's your immigration attorney, Louis Ruiz, here with you today because I want to talk to you about an immigration process called the U-Visa. Uh, the U-Visa is for people who have been victims of uh, serious crimes, domestic violence, sexual assault, rape, murder, any big crime. If you are either a, vic a direct victim or an indirect victim, you qualify for a U-Visa. Now what's the difference between a direct victim and an indirect victim? If you've been a victim of sexual assault, you're a direct victim. If your 10-year-old daughter was a victim of rape, you, the parents, are indirect victims and the child is a direct victim, and you all qualify for a U visa. In order to qualify for it, of course, you must report it to the police and you must either help in the investigation or the prosecution of the person who committed the crime. So you've called, so if the, the crime happened, you called the police and you were helpful to them. Uh, you reported everything that you saw and they called you, you answered other questions. If the DA called you and asked you to testify, you did it. And you were helpful in every step of the investigative process. The, the investigating agency or the prosecuting agency, whether it's the police department or the district attorney's office, must sign a supplement B, which is a form that says that you were a victim, that you were helpful, and that they uh, agree uh, that this is true. You cannot apply for a U visa without this form. Once we have this form, we can send out your application uh, to immigration and they will process it. Right now, the, the problem is that there's a delay in processing. U visa petitions are taking years. So if we apply today, it might take a year or two years for it to get approved. Once it's approved, you're gonna get a work permit. Once you have your work permit, you will be able to work and get your social security number, file your taxes with your social security number until you get your visa. Now your visa is gonna be a four year visa. You'll be lawfully in the United States. After three years, you will qualify to apply for a green card for lawful permanent residence. After five years of having lawful permanent residence, you will apply, you will be able to apply for citizenship. So the U visa process is a process that it is a path to citizenship. So once you apply, you are on your way to become a US citizen. Now it's a long road, it takes many years, but it is a path. And for many people, it is the only path to citizenship. There's an annual cap. They're only giving 10,000 visas out a year. So in October of 2017, they gave out the 10,000 visas for 2018. In October of 2018, they're gonna give out the 2019 visas. So the problem now is that people are applying. More people are applying a year than there are visas available. So there become a backlog. So the sooner you apply, the sooner you will get your visa. So let's say that you apply today, but there are 30,000 people in front of you, then you're going to wait till, four, you're gonna to have to wait till those 30,000 people get their visas, which is, they give 10,000 a year, so it's gonna be three years, and then on the fourth year, you will get yours. And you'll get a four-year visa, after three, of course, like I mentioned, you can apply for your resident card. But once it's approved, even before the fourth year is up, once you're approved, you're gonna get your work permit. If you've been a victim of a serious crime, if you've been a victim of domestic violence at the hands of your spouse, if you've been a victim of sexual assault, if your child has been a victim of a crime, if somebody in your family has been murdered, you can qualify as either a direct or an indirect victim, and you can gain a path to citizenship, a path to being lawful in this country. If you have been a victim, call our office, 832-390-4664, and we'll see if you qualify. We'll contact these government agencies and see if they'll sign your supplement B form so that you can apply. We're here to help you overcome the damage that has been done to you, call us. You can find us online at louisreeslaw.com. Our social media handles are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are at Louis Ruiz Law. We're here to help you.